Hello everyone, welcome to day 8 of 30 days of iPhone programming. Now today I'll be learning about um, did stop selector, which is part of the UI view, the core animation stuff. Um, basically when you perform an animation and at the end of the animation you want to do something else, uh, this is really good for that and I'm just going to show you how to do it. Um, go ahead and start a new project. Uh, we're going to call this animations and create. Now first head into your viewcontroller.h we're going to add in an IV outlet UI view star red view and then we're going to add an IV action I'll just say animate and go ahead and save that and head into your nib file you're going to change this to 3.5, add in a button and we're going to add in a UI view now we can probably make this a little smaller just so it's easier to deal with and I'll bring that to the center there, change the color to red, doesn't really matter though and then attach the red view to the UI view and then the animate action to the button and let's just change the text on this to animate and we can place that in the center. Go ahead and save that into your viewcontroller.m this is where we're going to add the implementation for the animate action and let's open that up UI view because this is going to be an animation we need to start with begin animations uh, context let's just do nil as well UI view set animation delegate whoops set animation delegate self um, we're going to set the duration as well uh, set animation duration we're just going to set that to 2 so that'll It'll take the animation two seconds to complete, and this is the important part, the animation set, animation did stop selector. At selector, uh, we're going to do animation did stop. And there we go now for the animation, let's just do red view dot center is equal to CG point make. Now we don't have to do anything drastic with this. Uh, Let's just do it mainly the center. So just do redview.center.x and then redview.center.y. And let's just change the x to, let's just add 150 of that. So it'll move it. It'll stay in the same, um, the same thing in the y dimension, but it'll move to the right 150 pixels. And then also let's just do redview.alpha is equal to 0.5. So I'll just change the transparency. Or, and then let's do a uh, UI view commit animations. Now just so we don't get any errors, we're going to implement um, at least the beginning of this and that will be a void um, animation did stop. Now let's build and run this and see what we get. And there we go, let's press the animate button and see what happens. So it moves to the right and the transparency goes to 0.5, that's exactly what we wanted. Now in, in order to actually show that something happens here, at the end of this animation, at the end of these two seconds, this method gets called because if you set it as the did stop selector it gets called down here so you can put in whatever you want in here really I'm just going to make another animation so I'm just going to copy this obviously we're not going to want the did stop selector to go again so we're just going to comment that out you can press command backslash um, to comment that out so the code won't run uh, for this instead of changing the X let's just change the Y and bring the box up maybe 150 so it'll bring the box um, up the screen 150 pixels and to change the alpha we can just bring that down to zero to make it completely disappear. Now when we run this um, all this code should run after the first code ran so let's click animate and that goes and then directly after that it performs the next animation and it disappears just like we expected. And uh, that is pretty much it for this tutorial. You can also do uh, if you want to infinite loops so you can add this back in and instead go to this. Now this probably won't work well. Let's just make it a smaller value. Let's just do 10, or let's do something like 30, and then we do minus 30, and let's keep the alpha so that we can see it. Uh, so if you run this, you'll actually see this loop won't ever stop. So if you click animate, it'll go, and then it'll go up, and it'll just keep going um, to the right and then up, to the right and then up. Uh, so that's something you don't really want to implement, but if you ever have a need for that, then that there, there it is. 
Uh, so that's pretty much it for this tutorial. Thank you all for watching. I will see you all tomorrow. The source code for this project, as well as the code for all my other iPhone SDK tutorials, can be found on xcode.iminicrispy.com.